Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality, small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is Michelle Forto and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works. On today's show, we are going to talk about holiday safety tips for your dog. But first, a word about Christmas puppies. Did you know that we do not recommend buying a puppy for Christmas? Buying a puppy is a lifelong commitment and should not be an impulse buy. If you know that your family member wants a puppy, why not buy a book on puppy raising, some treats, and a leash, and put that under the tree? Then, after the busy holiday season, you can go pick out a puppy together after talking it over and seeing if now is the right time. Now, Christmas tree safety and other holiday tips for your dog. Keeping your furry family members safe during the holidays can be a difficult task. There are the breakable ornaments, potentially dangerous plants, presents with bows and ribbons, lights that can be chewed, and who could forget the Christmas tree? Let's take a look at some simple pet safety steps that will allow your furry family members to join in the holiday fun this year while avoiding any trips to the animal emergency room. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. All right, here we go. Place your Christmas tree in a corner. A quick story first. Robert came home the other day and found that the tree was knocked over. And he called me and said, did we have an earthquake? After a little searching, he found out that one of our campers had escaped her crate. When we finally got the tree upright, we found her ball. To keep your dog from attempting to jump into the tree, you can place aluminum foil around the tree base to warn you of an impending tree disaster. Since your dog and Christmas trees are not always the best combination, it may take some ingenuity on your part to keep both parties safe during the holiday season. We have seen pictures on our Facebook pages where pet owners are using puppy pens as barriers for their trees. Tinsel can add a nice sparkling touch to the tree, but make sure you hang it up out of your pet's reach or for the highest level of pet safety, simply don't use it. Ingesting tinsel can potentially block their intestines, which is generally only remedied through surgical means. Do not put lights on the tree's lower branches. Not only can your pet get tangled up in the lights, but they can also cause burns on your dog if they become entangled. Additionally, your dog may inadvertently get shocked by biting through the wire. Ornaments need to be kept out of reach too. In addition to being a choking and intestinal blockage hazard, shards from broken ornaments may injure paws, mouths, or other parts of your pet's body. The hangers will also cause problems for your dog as well. For those buying live Christmas trees this year, keep the area around the tree free and clear of pine needles. While they may not seem dangerous, the needles cause stomach upset and can irritate or puncture your pet's intestines if ingested. 
Now a word from our sponsor. So earlier you learned about First Paw Coffee Company, and now I'm gonna tell you about its Tail Wagger Blend. First Paw Coffee Company's Tail Wagger Blend is their first offering, and its name and label were crowdsourced from their Facebook fans. How cool is that? The Tail Wagger Blend is a private label premium blend that was developed just for them. It is a medium roast from Colombian beans with tastes of Brazil nuts, grapefruit, and oak. Be sure to go to ak.dog slash free and enter to win a bunch of cool prizes. That's ak.dog slash free. All right, we are back and on with our holiday safety tips for dogs. Did you know that holly and mistletoe are poisonous to dogs? If you normally use these plants to decorate your home, they should be kept in an area your pet cannot reach. Poinsettias are also not a great idea as they can cause nausea and vomiting if ingested. Edible tree decorations. Whether they be ornaments or popcorn strings, are pet safety time bombs waiting to happen. These goodies are just too enticing and your pet will surely tug at them, knocking down your wonderfully decorated spruce. Not to mention that they are also choking hazards. This goes for putting chocolates under there too. One year, we came downstairs and found out that one of the sled dogs, Bodie, took it upon himself to grab a box of the expensive seized chocolates. He ripped the wrapping paper off and you could tell he went in for a sample or five or seven. Some of them that he did not like had little bites on them. Others were completely gone. He truly sampled the seas. We found him on the couch with a sheepish look on his face. Burning candles should be placed on high shelves or mantles out of your pet's way. There's no telling where a wagging tail or curious cat may end up. Never leave candles unsupervised and keep your dog away from any areas with open flames or wax. Homes with fireplaces should use screens to avoid accidental burns. To prevent any accidental electrocutions, exposed indoor or outdoor wires should be taped to the wall or the sides of the house. Any wires extending away from the wall should be wrapped in hard protective plastic to make them less interesting to your dog. When gift wrapping, be sure to keep your pet away. Wrapping paper, scotch tape, string, ribbon, plastic pieces, or cloth could all cause intestinal blockages. Scissors are another pet safety hazard, and they should be kept off floors or low tables. Be cautious about leaving wrapped gifts with ribbons and bows under the tree where your pets can get to them. The holidays are always busy, and it is important that you make sure that your home is safe for your furry friends and to make sure they don't get lost in the hustle and bustle. What holiday safety tips do you have? Let us know on our social channels by searching DogWorks Radio. And as always, check us out at alaskadogworks.com. Happy holidays! This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.